today I am going to be posting one of my first tutorials for the holiday season. This is something that I personally feel is still neutral <laughs> but dramatic at the same time. The colors are neutral. Okay, it's just the style of makeup that's dramatic and then the lips, okay? But I did this look, you know, for the holiday season since, you know, you want to ease your way in before you give them the poom pow pow and not the, not the poom pow. You want to ease your way in before you give them like the full on 1000 glitter glam, you know what I mean? So this slowly eases your way in without scaring everyone. Okay, so I did a neutral, I feel like... I look and it's a cut crease look with some very neutral fall, you know, holiday-ish colors. All right. And then for lips, I went a little bit bold. I got a beautiful like purpley plum type of color with some glitter on it. I can't wait to show you guys how this happened as far as the lip. It's just Oh my god. So today the palettes I'm using are both from Heart Candy. It's not sponsored. I actually bought these palettes from Walmart and I kind of just bought them mainly because of the way they looked and they looked super like professional. Like, well not professional, but they, they didn't look cheap. Okay. The only thing I don't really care for is this this on top of the palette, but whatever, that's part of the hard candy line. Okay, but I'm gonna open the first palette that I bought from them, and I got this a while ago, you guys. Like, I don't know if you remember me posting a picture about this, but it actually looks like one of those um, Visi Art or Vice Art palettes. It reminds me so much of one of those palettes, and those palettes are really expensive. So I think that was the main reason why I bought this, including this red shade right here. It's more of a like brickish red, kind of um, ox blood shade. I know it's it's a lot of, you know, ways to describe this color, but that's the main reason why I bought this color, okay? And I don't really have a lot of cool tone colors, so it has like a lot of cool tone colors in there, so that's another reason why I bought this. This one is the Look Pro Matte Eyeshadow Pro Palette. And then this one I recently got maybe a month or so ago. And this one has a lot of shimmers in it. It's very holiday-esque. Like it has oranges and rose gold and, you know, nice colors for the holiday season. It does have a couple of mattes, including a red shade. I really did wish that it had a brown shade or, you know, like a really nice transition color because there's none. There's just the red, the black, this peachy kind of color, this kind of tan color and then this you know cream looking color okay but that's all the mattes you really get in here and then the pink that, that's it those are the mattes that you get everything else is a shimmer all of the top row and all of this row right here from this one to this one so I just used both palettes to create this look for the lid I use this palette this one is called the look pro eyeshadow pro palette so you know, the names are not really that hard. They're both at Walmart. They're super affordable. I believe they were $7, 7 to $8 around that price range. I could be wrong. They were probably $10. They're still pretty affordable for the amount of eyeshadows that you get in each palette. There are 15 eyeshadows in each palette, okay? 15 colors. Um, this one, I feel like it's more usable. Like, you'll you'll actually reach for this, except for the fact that it doesn't have maybe one or two brown shades. Like they could have replaced these two right here with two really nice brown shades. Place these two with like nice brown shades, you know, like a chocolatey shade and maybe like a, um, a sand something, you know, a camel something. Cause these, they, mm -mm. Okay, but it's still a really nice palette. It's still pretty affordable. So I have both, I use both to create this look and I think it came out pretty good for drugstore eyeshadow palettes or Walmart eyeshadow palettes from Heart Candy. Um, and then for lips, I use Alley Girl. So um, and let me know what you guys think about this quick little mini review or, you know, a little talk through about this palette before the tutorial. Let me know if you enjoyed it or if you rather just have your little, you know, my slow motion and then straight to the point. So let me know what you like, okay? But if you want to see how I created this look, please keep on watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any uploads, and I'll see you guys at the end of this video. All right, you guys, to start off my look, I'm going to be using the LA Girl um, Shady Slim Brow Pencil in the shade Espresso, and I'm just gonna use this to outline my brows and fill them in. I honestly love brow pencils more than brow pomade. Yes, brow pomade can be very, you know, 
long lasting and super pigmented and all that. But it's just sometimes I just can't like it's just I can you know what I mean a pencil once it's sharpened I can make my shape fill it in and and there that's it that's all I need so as you guys could see I just outlined the bottom part of my brow I brushed down my brow hairs someone had a, uh, a comment they left with a question mark saying brush down brow hairs question mark yes I brushed down my brow hairs just like I did here so that I can make my line on the top part of my brow just the way I want it you know what I mean because sometimes the hairs could be in the way so I just brushed them down and once I'm done you know creating my shape on the top I put them back in place so now I'm just gonna fill in the tail end part of my brow and then once I have it nice and filled in I'm gonna go in and clean up the brow now going in with my LA girl pro HD concealer in the shade fun I'm just gonna use this to clean up my brow as usual if you guys want a you know a different kind of brow tutorial I do have a playlist filled with brow tutorials that I've done over the last seven years of being on YouTube so you know some of them are a bit different from each other some of them are more natural and some are more dramatic so there are some options there for you so check it out if you like it's on the home page of my channel okay I'm also gonna use the concealer to prime my lids this is just going to be our base for the eyeshadows you know something for the eyeshadows to hold on to to stick to and to also make them pop I decided to go ahead and clean up the top part of my brow right away and I'm using the Fenty um, Beauty foundation um, the number of it is in the description box because I always mess it up I believe it's 400 if I'm not mistaken but I could be wrong sometimes I say 700 I don't know why but I keep saying it but I think it's 400 okay um, I'm gonna go in with my first shade and I'm using the matte pro palette from hard candy and I'm using the red shade which is a very deep ox blood red color okay it's not like a super vibrant red it's a very deep red shade and I do really like the um, amount of pigment that I get from the color the other shadows in the palette don't give as much pigment especially the lighter shadows that are like more on the like um, white kind of pale kind of colors the top row they're just not for me once I have that red shade in I'm gonna go in with this almost grape kind of deep wine shade and apply this in my crease using a crease brush and I'm just going to blend it in and also wing it out while blending it out okay towards the outer part of the lid to cut my crease I'm using my LA girl pro HD concealer in the shade fawn you can use whatever products you have available to create this look you guys but I try to use you know products that I know you can easily get from stores like Walmart or even online you know on Amazon or something like that and I think for the you know the price of the palette is pretty reasonable ten dollars for 15 eyeshadows is pretty good okay but like I said the top row of the matte palette is just very bland that that would be my best way to describe that top row okay now going in with the palette with all the shimmer shades I'm gonna go in with this kind of off-white shadow and apply this to the inner part of my lid then I'm gonna go in with this dusty pink shadow which almost looks like the white shadow and then I'm gonna go in with the rose gold shade and apply this in the center part of my lid blending it in with the pink shadow just to kind of give it like a gradient effect from light to dark and then I'm gonna use this red tone bronze shade or penny shade and apply it to the outer part of the lid and blending it right underneath the winged out cut crease that we did okay I'm gonna go in and just blend out the crease a bit and get rid of some of the fallout from the first eyeshadow which I really think they may need to reformulate the first um, first couple of shadows like they, they kind of fly all over the place so you definitely need something sticky for them to hold on to I applied some of my Urban Decay mascara and then I went ahead and applied some of my stack lashes that I created to you know imitate mink lashes I do have a video on that and I'll try to link that down below for you guys okay now I'm gonna go and clean up the wing part of the look I'm not going to do wing liner so the wing of the eyeshadow is just gonna be our wing that's it I'm gonna go back in with the red shade using a small pointed brush and just smoking out my lower lash line I'm also going to bring that out right underneath the winged out shadow so that you can see that there is a winged out shadow look there then I'm gonna go back in with that deep 
grape wine, almost plummy looking shadow and apply this right underneath my lower lashes. The matte shades, the deeper tone ones do work really well. It's just the top row that, you know, didn't work much for me when I was just testing it out. I went ahead and lined my waterline using the LA Girl um, Ultimate Eyeliner Pencil and then I'm going in with my Urban Decay Mascara to put mascara on my bottom lashes to make them look like they have, you know, something going on in life. And this is the final look of the eyes, you guys. Now onto the face, you guys. I'm going to start with the LA Girl Pro Primer. This is their hydrating primer. I'm just going to apply a bit of this to my face and just rub it in and just let it, you know, let it set in. Don't rub it in and then just go put on foundation right away. Just give it a couple minutes, let it set in, do its thing, and then go in with your foundation. I'm using the Fenty Beauty Foundation in the shade 400, and I'm just going to use a stippling brush to apply this all over my face. The stippling brush will help give you more of a airbrushed look you can always use a beauty sponge to go over it but i honestly prefer using my brushes to apply my foundation it's giveaway time you guys and aren't you happy you stuck around so today i will be giving away this beautiful unit that i custom colored cut styled and got it together for one lucky lady or guy or whoever if you're an alien I don't care but if you are watching thank you so much for supporting my channel I truly appreciate it this is how I will be doing giveaways from now on they will be random in video and secret so you will not be commenting that this is a giveaway do not comment because that will disqualify you to enter this giveaway I need you to type these three emojis in the comment section and that's it you can also leave your regular comment but do not mention that there's a giveaway in this video okay i only want true supporters and true viewers of my channel to be entered into winning this giveaway love you guys so much and good luck if you do have a problem getting into tight spaces, I suggest squeezing the brush and just, you know, working your way into those little spaces. I usually never have a problem doing that. So I do like the finish of brushes, just doing the padding motion. Now I'm going to go in and highlight using my LA Girl Pro HD Concealer in the shade Fawn. I just realized something. If I had a dollar for every time I said LA Girl Pro HD Concealer, I would be so rich right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, okay, but I'm doing my concealer in the feathered out way that I've been doing it lately and bring it bringing it around my nose area. So feathering it out and then bring it bringing it around. I'm also going to highlight my chin, bridge part of my nose and my forehead a bit. Alright you guys, so once I have all the areas highlighted where I want to, you know, just make a bit brighter, I'm going to go in with the same foundation brush, start blending out the edges, and then work my way right underneath the eye by squeezing the brush. You want to make sure that you blend the concealer in with your foundation, especially around, especially around the edges of the concealer because you don't want it to have a start and finish point. You know what I mean? Now going in with the Fit Me Finishing Powder, I'm using the medium shade. I'm just going to set under my eyes very lightly. I do love the effect of this powder, you guys. It gives such a beautiful airbrushed finish. Just beautiful. I'm so happy that I picked this up. The first time I left it and then I went back and got it after you guys on Instagram told me to go ahead and get it. And then here I went in with the wrong contour shade. I realized it well right there. That's when I realized it. It's just I don't like my contour to look a certain way. <laughs> I don't know what that face was, but it was just not it for me, okay? So I went over it again with my foundation brush, went in with my Fit Me powder in the shade Truffle, because Java is just too cool toned and just makes my contour look dirty. So I changed that, okay? I don't like my contours to be super, super dramatic unless that's what I'm really going for, which is rare. I'm now using this Laura Geller Blush and Glow um, compact is basically a blush with a little bit of highlight in it I'm just gonna use that for the cheeks to give me some color and some highlight then I went in with the OPV highlight in the shade glamorous and added this to the cheeks just for a bit of a pop you know just to brighten it up a bit more then for this amazing glitter magic shimmer shifting lip color I just had to say the whole name it's a liquid lipstick from Alley girl and it's it looks metallic once you put it on but once you rub your lips together it's full of glitter has 
has a lot of shine. It looks so awesome, you guys. I'm going to try and do some IG lip videos of this um, liquid lipstick from Alley Girl. And I do have an affiliate code if you guys are interested in purchasing anything from them. It is Queenie10 for 10% off. So this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you did. And I'll see you guys all in another video very soon. Love you guys. Bye.